Good evening, everyone. Welcome to a Wednesday night edition of Prairie Land Radio Network on uh, the StreamYard Network and uh, also our live video. Uh, this is our, I think, uh, let's see, fourth or fifth uh, broadcast on StreamYard. And it's really good to uh, be able to share this time with the ladies from Sister Moon down in Florida. And I want, uh, we've talked uh on the basically on audio on podbean mm -hmm. podcast before but this is our first live video so welcome ladies thank you for joining me thank you thank for having you. us i appreciate it okay so let's get right down to it here now i know that we have talked in the past uh now recently you just had a witch walk yes we did <laughs> so how successful was it Honestly, it was it turned out way better than we expected because yeah. of the COVID. We were kind of not sure whether or not to hold it and you know what kind of crowd we were gonna get, but mm -hmm. um we had an amazing crowd and the energy was amazing, everybody had a great time. Um it, it just turned out so great. We were so surprised at how well it was. I know after this COVID thing, you know, we plan on doing this yearly, it'll get bigger and better every year. But yeah. for our first year and not knowing what was, you know, what kind of a crowd we were going to get, it turned out amazing. It really, really yeah. did. We were, we were surprised. How many people turned out for it? Um, I don't think we actually ever got like an, a real count because there was so much going on and we were just like running back and forth trying to make sure everything was going off the way that it should. But I'm going to guess at least 60 to 70 people. Um, and then where we had the event, people, it was a, like a restaurant on the water, and um, mm. but they have a nice big area for, you know, gatherings. Um, people that had come in to eat at the restaurant ended up staying because they were like, this is awesome. I want to be part of this. <laughs> so, so we got a whole bunch of stragglers that were had actually come for dinner and they stayed through the event. So it was pretty fun. Yeah, we had like what I don't know, fifty or sixty women dressed up as witches walking across the bridge. Yes, yes, we did, and we got some really, we got some, some really nice shots of that. And uh, it was just like you could just feel the cool vibes even through the pictures. Yeah, it was fun, cool. Okay, now let's uh, see how this is the first time that uh, I've had you two on video with me. Uh, <laughs> why don't you two take time out and to uh, just let everybody know who you are and uh, what you're doing. You want to start or you want me to start? Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, Sister Moon is a collaboration of local witches. It started with a small group of us. It has grown quite extensively over the past couple months. A lot of people are finding their spiritual path, I think, with this whole COVID thing. Mm -hmm. um, so a lot more people are opening up to the idea of different religions and different paths and different, you know, all of that. So that's that's been a really big thing for us. We've done a lot of teachings um, because of that. Yeah. But we are just a platform for anything witchy. And we've got a Facebook group and we've got our Facebook store and both are doing really well. Mm -hmm. um, well, we have an online store, but a Facebook store page, I should say, correct myself. Mm -hmm. um, and our, our our members just keep growing. And then, of course, we do our Tarot Tuesday where we uh, do that with Miss Beverly with Spirit Energy. So we do that every Tuesday. That's that's grown in popularity and that's always fun. Yeah. Um, and we do a lot of giveaways and stuff like that on our Tarot Tuesday. So people dig that. It promotes us a little bit. But um we're just a platform. Um, we didn't really have in our area where we live, there wasn't a lot of pagan or Wiccan communities or groups or, you know, a lot of closet witches. And since we started Sister Moon, everybody's coming out of the broom closet and really just being a, proud of who they are. And they've found their little niche. They've found their group where they can be themselves. That's what we hear a lot is like, I finally found my tribe, you know, so that's cool. Um, and again, like I said, we've got a lot of new people that are just finding their path and we're helping them, you know, do that. We offer all kinds of, um, you know, online classes and things. And we've got a lot more coming that we've just planned because we've had a lot of people asking us to do this or that or whatnot. 
Um, so lots of cool events coming up. And then um, we just, you know, want to promote what we do. But we, on our store, we set what we're proud of about our store is that we sell all handcrafted tools, ritual tools, candles, apothecary, um, you know, things like that. Every single thing that we carry is made by a sister witch. So it's nothing's outsourced from different countries or it's not your same old, same old stuff that you're going to find every time if you Google something, everything that we carry is handcrafted. So that's what makes us unique as far as our store goes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Nice. Now, yeah, I know that uh, I have participated with uh, your Tarot Tuesday. Yeah. And, mm -hmm. and uh, yeah, you two have uh, either you or Beverly, oh. or the three, <laughs> you have a lot of fun during that time. <laughs> we do have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun every time we do anything. But yes, um, we, we laugh because no amount of scripting for Tarot Tuesday can even work because it always takes on a life of its own. Um, and just like our, our live show, we had our sale last Monday. Same thing. It took on a life of its own. Like we had a yeah. schedule of what we thought was ha going to happen. And and then, you know, it just never happens that way. No. <laughs> so we just, we just rolling with the, with the punches and having fun with it. And um, I think that's why a lot of people do follow us because we are real people. You know, we um, we're not fluff and, and fairy tale. We are who we are. And, and we always have a lot of fun with everything. So. Yeah. Lee, tell me about uh, what you're doing with the, at the store. Well, um, we, like Misty said, we just had a sale Monday night and um, we came out with some new things. We've been researching different items, witchy items like the witch balls. Um, we're doing kind of a spin of our own uh, blessing ball, which we put together a kit. Um, and we are going to do classes um, locally as well as um, doing an online thing so people can participate. You know, if they order it online and they get it, they can log on with us. We're also doing um, like a shaker spell jar, just some different cool things that get people involved with it. Um, when before our witches walk, we did a broom making class at Misty's because we were going to do the witches dance. And everybody just had so much fun with that. They really wanted to um, have more things like that, you know. So we're we're starting to do more. It's just kind of evolving. It's taking on a life of its own. So we're just kind of rolling with it. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Now, Most definitely. I remember the first time that uh, we had talked on uh, Podbean. <laughs> and we actually had to do two takes on that. <laughs> yes. That was my fault. <laughs> yeah, that was what he's uh, doing on that uh, on uh, round two. His <laughs> yeah. But I will say that uh, that voice ad that uh, I created for you guys, um, it turned out so well that I was very proud of that one. Yeah, that was really good. I think and we, we appreciate were, you doing take two. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And and the voice ad did turn out. A, I I was even amazed at how well it turned out. It sounded mm -hmm. so professional and so awesome. It did. And just to have that opportunity was amazing, you know. Yes. And we were excited to share that with everybody also because it did turn out really great. Definitely. <laughs> I, like you said, it, uh, after that first clip, Misty came back to me and begging me to do <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Mm hmm. Because I'm a bit of a talker, in case I've, if you guys haven't figured that out already. Um, <laughs> so I can get way off topic sometimes. It's like, what were we here for? <laughs> yeah. I was kicking her, but. <laughs> Lee was pretty much ready to kill me after that first interview. So I was like, please, please let us do this again. Because, yeah, 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 it was a definitely do over type of situation. <laughs> it was. <laughs> I would have to agree with that one. <laughs> uh, oh, memorable at the least. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Uh, so, based now, um, for next year now um are you i know that you're already planning to do another witch walk mm -hmm. yeah are you planning on doing anything else for next year 
yes, actually we have a couple things planned. Um, things that we've set in stone so far. We've got a lot more things we want to do, but the first event that we're planning, uh, well, we're going to have a couple classes in January to do like she was talking about with the witch's ball and the shaker jar. And those will be in person and online. So, um, you know, for those who want to get involved, they can, you know, we'll have a stream yard type of situation where they feel like they're right there with us and they can buy the kits and, and do it at home with, the, you know. Um, but then we're also in February, we are going to do a Valentine event called I Love You to Death. And it will be a costuming event. Um, and it, basically it's just sort of whatever your take is on that. And we're gonna have like a costume contest who can get most creative with it. So that will be our next big event and that'll be in February. I can't recall the exact date because I don't have my calendar in front of me. I do believe it's the day before, I think it's the 13th we decided. Yeah. Um, not 100% sure, I'll have to look at my calendar because uh, we were going through tons and tons of things the other day. I can't remember every single- We have a lot of Zoom meetings. <laughs> yes, we do. we do have a lot of Zoom meetings to um, calculate this and that and whatnot. Um, and then we were trying, and I don't think it's going to happen this year, but we'd like to do it next year. We wanted to do a witch's winter ball because oh, we yeah. think that would be really cool. Um, but with everything, with our witch's walk and then the holidays, it just everything kind of happened a little too quick for us to pull that together um, in time. So we're going to plan for that for next year. And then of course we're all, we're going to do our witch's walk and um, mm -hmm. hopefully at some point we'll be able to pull together a bigger venue, like the pagan parade type, you know, pagan pride type of situation. Um, so yeah, those are the things that we are working on. They're in the works and um, you know, we're just, it's a matter of putting it all, pulling it all together. Yeah. So. Nice. Okay. But we come a long way since January. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That's the other thing, you know, this January will be our one year anniversary. So yeah. we've done a lot of things in, you know, not quite a year. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, it's already nice to see that uh, you've got really great following, uh, especially on your Tuesdays. And, uh, yes, we do. Uh, I would say, do you have people stopping in on a daily basis? What's that? I'm sorry, I missed that. Do you have people stopping in on a daily basis to the store? Or? Well, right now we don't have our brick and mortar store because COVID killed that. Yeah. Um, so we're strictly online. But uh, my house is like the pickup location. And just today I had two fellow witches that just stopped by to, well, to pay for their orders for Monday. But, you know, they stayed and hung out for a minute and we bullshitted and whatnot. But, yeah, we get people that just pop in randomly mm -hmm. um we get stopped a lot like in the grocery store <laughs> um the local librarian wanted our input on pagan books to order for you know <laughs> so <laughs> we thought that was kind of funny you know i mean it was a it was a good funny but it was just like it was completely out of nowhere we were in the grocery store shopping and she was like oh you're the witches i have questions for you <laughs> <laughs> so you know things like that. We, we're getting a lot more recognition in our in our area. Mm -hmm. um, everybody pretty much knew that I, you know, I've always been an open witch. Um, Lee was a little more in the broom closet until recently, you know. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people are like, "Wow, she's a witch," you yeah. know, because <laughs> um, she comes off very sweet and innocent, and so it, it really throws people off sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. No, I don't doubt it. Okay, now we do have a, a Facebook user that uh, chimed in, and uh, I don't know who you are, so if you would just click on the live chat link, uh, we'll be able to see who you are so that you can join us. Uh, okay. <laughs> I know that Facebook user thing can be a pain in the butt. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Especially like when we're doing our giveaways and we have no idea who we're talking to, and we're like, oh, right. please tell us your name. Yeah. Yeah, so all you got to do is just click on the live uh, chat, and then uh, you'll be able to join us. Now, is, uh, since now we are on StreamYard, so that way you can uh, join us over here. Uh, it's also broadcasting on Facebook. Also, uh, this is broadcasting over on the YouTube channel. Awesome. For, um, Iowa Pagan News. And actually, excuse me, 
No, I take that back. It's uh, streaming live on the Prairie Line Radio Network YouTube page. So, nice. Um, yeah. This will be uh, this uh, gets uh, recorded live over there as well. Now, awesome. um, what else was I going to ask you here? So I know that uh, it's really good to know that uh, you've come a long way in the the very first year. Uh, now, in the future, do you see yourselves having an actual brick and mortar store uh, yes. in the next yes. few years, or? Yes. Um, in fact, we were actually kind of looking um, right before all this happened. And yeah. it's kind of good that it didn't work out because we probably wouldn't have been able to afford it at the time um, because everything did shut down. So the universe was looking out for us. But um, yeah, we're definitely, definitely wanting that. Yeah, for sure. Excellent. Excellent. Oh, there's Beverly. Hey, Beverly. <laughs> That's our tarot lady, the guru. She's our sister. Yep, uh, she definitely is. Uh, Bev, if you want to get invited in over on the stream yard, well, I can bring you in if you would like to. So just let me know. No problem there, dear. Uh, be more, the more join us, the more the better. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I'll tell you what, if you even want to do a giveaway tonight, you sure can if you wanted to. Okay. I'll have to think of something <laughs> real quick. <laughs> I can do a candle. I know. <laughs> I know. Want to do a candle? Yeah. Or whichever you have available. Yeah. Um, I'll grab one. Okay. Yeah, we're all about the giveaways. That's for sure. We love it. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what uh, we can uh, get going here. And. <laughs> Yeah, this was one of the things we did on our show. It's a um, it's a Yule candle. It's got the bloodstone, um, a quartz crystal, the rosemary, nice. um, orange and vanilla essential oils. Um, just something fun that we did for Yule, and uh, that was also part of our holiday bazaar. <laughs> <laughs> bazaar. <laughs> they were teasing me because I spelled bazaar wrong. It was a whole thing. It turned into a whole thing. <laughs> yeah. She did it on purpose, but everybody thought it was a typo. And mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. I was gonna say, Either way. It was, it, was, it was funny. We got a good laugh out of it for like three yeah. hours. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, were still making fun of me on Tuesday. I know. Cool. I was going to say, if you want to uh, put out the uh, notification to all your followers, and if they want to join in for the giveaway, they can. So, okay. do that tonight. Yes. All right. I'm going to um, jump on my Facebook page here and, or on our <laughs> sister page and put it out there real quick. Oof. Okay, good. That's off. So yeah, guys, we're gonna do that Yule candle as a giveaway like we normally do. How do you wanna do that? Do you want them to drop numbers or? Yeah, we can do numbers, yep. All right. Just like you do so on Tuesday. All right, so let's say, um, she says, thanks, but my style is currently early hurrahsness, so let's not frighten the good folks. We're wearing hats for a reason. I need a bad, I need a haircut really bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I need a complete makeover. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's it's that whole COVID awesomeness. It's like you go eight months without a haircut and <laughs> stuff mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Fun, fun. Yeah, even my son today was like, Mom, I'm going to get my haircut. It's getting ridiculous. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, trust me. I have been there, done that. But, uh, like soon, honey, soon. Yeah, <laughs> I, think I, I think I finally got mine cut a couple of weeks ago after a few months. It's like, uh, the, you know, this has got to go. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we have a girlfriend that cuts has a little salon here. So we've been very lucky because the last couple of months we've been able to get our hair cut. But because mm -hmm. she's like one of the few open, she is slammed busy. Mm -hmm. So it still takes like, you know, in between cuts, it's still like a month because she's so busy. So yeah, so it still gets a little out of control. 
So I said, I was fine when I had my long hair. I could just throw it up. Now that I have short hair, I have to have it cut. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And for those of you who may not know, uh, Beverly Arnold Oberlein, uh, basically she is a very well-versed uh, tarot reader. Uh, she participates in their Tarot Tuesday every uh, every week, and she is a really fantastic person to deal with. Basically, if you're looking for tarot reading, Beverly is the one to go to. Yes. Yes, she definitely is. She's amazing. And, you know, I joke on our Tarot Tuesday that everybody instantly becomes friends with Bev because they feel so connected with her. Mm -hmm. But it's really true. Like, the first true. Thing, like two months that we started Tarot Tuesday, every single person friended her, wanted to take her to coffee. They're like, when this is all over, we're going to lunch. We're going to do this. We're going because she is such an amazing reader, but she's such a down to earth person. You be you become friends with her. You know, you feel like you've known her for a million years. So yeah. that's always nice when you're getting a reading from somebody like that that you can connect with more yeah, she's so than amazing. Just somebody reading. You know, mm -hmm. that's very true. Yeah, uh, because uh, yeah, every time that uh, I talk to Tuesday, she, I mean, she pretty much everything that I'm doing on my page uh, for uh, personal and then also for Prairie Land Radio Network and Iowa Pagan News. So mm. I I see her following me with pretty much everything I'm doing. So yes, yeah, nice. yeah, she's really cool about that for sure. You know. Everyone that has um, joined Sister Moon and whatnot has literally become our family. I mean, we've all, and, and we love just supporting each other and supporting other people just like you do. So it's nice to all be united the way that we have become because, yeah, it's just always good to support each other. And um, it's nice to just see that kind of support. Yeah, it is. Uh, <laughs> everyone who I see here. Uh, that have been doing this. Every single one of them has said that uh, being in the pagan community is like having a very large family. Yes, and I agree. When uh, we're able to get together in gatherings at uh, yeah. events, yeah. Or whatnot, it's like a homecoming. Yeah. yeah, definitely, definitely. And even we had some funny comments that that was similar to that on Monday night. They were like, wow, this was like a family reunion, you know, because we just had so much fun with it and everybody got started talking with uh, amongst themselves and sort of meeting each other through the comments. And it was really fun. Everybody had a good yeah. time. So. Yep, that's true. Our family grows all the time. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, also what I'm going to be doing is the, I'm going to go over here on the, uh, Prayland Radio Network uh, page, and I'm also going to share the uh, link for the uh, our chat here tonight, so that if people want to join us in chat, they can, and that way they can also participate in on the uh, drawing that we're going to have for the candle. Awesome. So the more people that we get involved, the better. And if you are gonna, if you do want to participate in the drawing, uh, just put in a base where we're gonna do numbers, just like they do on Tuesday. So that, um, and I think Misty's got the generator. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, do you guys just what? Excuse me, I'm a little tongue-tied today. Let's say, because we don't really know how many is watching right at the moment. So I'm going to say drop a number between 1 and 50 right now. And um, then when we do the drawing, we'll use the number generator like we do on Tarot Tuesday. And it's just sort of like a bingo caller. It pops up a number, and, and it's real simple. We used to do it old school and write it all down and put it in a cauldron and stir. And, and <laughs> it got to be a little... <laughs> So much <laughs> so now we we're we have upgraded to the number generator so makes things easier mm -hmm. all right yeah so just uh join uh be sure to click on the live chat link and then uh, that way you can drop a number between 150 and we'll be uh we'll do that drawing in just a little bit um now let's see uh tell us more about um 
are all the products that you have, uh, or I should say the majority of the products that you have, are they handmade or? Yes, everything. Everything is handmade. Mm -hmm. From, um, well, even down to our, we do custom vinyl work also. Um, that was an avenue that opened up that we didn't really plan on doing, but it started with one little thing. And then people asked us, like, we've, we've done some window displays and things like that for our local community. Um, but we do a lot of merch, but it's all our own stuff that we make. What We do mm -hmm. koozies and hats and shirts and tote bags and all kinds of different stuff like that. But everything's handcrafted. Um, and, you know, down from our candles and our soaps and our body washes, everything is, is mostly Lee. She's the magic when it comes to the apothecary. She can whip something out in no time. Um, and it's, it's always amazing. <laughs> I'm not being braggadocious. It's true. And that's why there's so many of our products that we cannot keep, you know, on the shelf per se, because as soon as we get a batch made, well, I should say, shouldn't say we, as soon as Lee gets a batch made, <laughs> It's out, it's out the door. Um, you know, like literally we have, some of our products have waiting lists because mm -hmm. a lot of things have to cure or, you know, if it's a tincture, mm -hmm. it's got to sit for a while, things like that. Um, but yeah, a lot of our products have waiting lists because they love them and um, they tell all their friend about them. And then, you know, it just, it can get a little crazy. It can get a, little, a lot crazy. Well, that's the cool thing because it is word of mouth. And like um, people just say, you know, tell Misty, oh, could she she make this? Or like the sleepy salve I made for Misty's little girl. Um, mm -hmm. You know, just different things that she'll just say, hey, can you do this? Can you do that? And that's how most of our products have come about. And then True. they just take off from there. Yes. Yeah. She yeah. usually yeah. suggests it and then I figure it out and it goes on. <laughs> it's literally like that. I'll just mention, hey, you know, I think we should do this. And then like the next day she's like, okay, so what do you think about this? <laughs> And I'm like, awesome. Because she, yeah. She, and, or I'll drop it off at her house and make her try it first. <laughs> yes, yes. We guinea pig everything before we put it out there for sale. Um, yeah. My kids are the number one testers, but it's, everything is, you know, safe. There's, we don't use any, um, anything unnatural that can harm you in any way. Um, so that's, that's a nice thing about our, there's not going to be any allergies. You don't have to worry about that situation with us. And we do product tests before we ever, you know, put it out there for sale. So that's good. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. The and as you know, Misty does all the computer work and the Tarot Tuesdays and yeah, I would never even be on StreamYard if it wasn't for her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sort of our promotional techie girl. Yeah. And, you know, work to maintain and building the website and all that kind of stuff. That's that's my avenue. And then I do a lot of the vinyl work and um, things like that. So cool. Excellent. Yep. And uh, Beverly just said, yes, so true. Magical kitchen witch. She is. <laughs> she is. She is amazing, honestly. You guys all are. <laughs> that's the nice thing though yeah, we yeah. all come together and do our part you know and we just Thank blend you, really well. true. yeah mm -hmm. everybody has a part and everybody mm -hmm. brings it every time and and that's what makes it so great it's not it's a collective yeah. vision it's a collective work it's a you know everybody yeah. in and, and does their thing and we keep adding to that like tomorrow with her boxes um you know yeah Misty yeah. I mean, we're always looking for other people that make their own things to add to our group. Yeah. That's another thing too, guys, if anybody's watching and um, is a, a witch who does handcrafted product, um, feel free to shoot us a message because we're always adding. We always want to promote. We always want to, you know, cause it's not just promoting you, but it's also promoting our business because that gives our customer base a wider, uh, you know, variety of products. So yeah. You know, if you're, you're you're a local witch, even if you're not local um, and, you know, you make handcrafted anything, you go ahead and shoot us a message and we'll go from there. So, yeah. Well, that's nice that uh, everybody can work together to help promote each other. Yes, definitely. That's basically what it's all about here in the community. Yes, it yes. is. We want to empower each other and help each other as much as we can. Exactly. Exactly. We've been, you know, we're all on that um, level that we've all been pushed down long enough that it's our turn to, you know, rise up and, and be that better human and that, you know, better group of people and support and love and, and promote all of that, you know, through what we do. 
Mm-hmm. I definitely agree with you 100%. Yeah, it's, uh, it's just like with us here. What we're doing here, it's all about building community with unity. Yes, you're doing amazing things. <laughs> and we're so excited that you uh, included us in that journey. Yes, we are. <laughs> Uh, let's say is uh, actually let's see yeah uh, you two were the first ones to uh, get a voice ad and <laughs> shortly after that was uh, another shop <laughs> in Illinois called BU Apothecary. Oh, I saw that one. I listened to nice. that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that, uh, you guys were the first ones, and then uh, they followed suit, and I've got uh, a couple more I've got to do yet too. So nice. Very cool. Yeah, it's all about uh, just to me. It's been all about bringing people together because that's that was my main focus back in 2012 when I first started this roller coaster. Yeah. Well, it, you're doing amazing things, and like I said, we're we're really happy to be part of it and appreciate all the support and love that you've shown us through this short period, and we've become friends and. And family and you know that's just how it works and and you're empowering everybody and and supporting everyone in that pagan community and and it's just such a great thing such an amazing thing definitely yep and i already made the decision that uh, once we get past this all this COVID stuff that um i'm going to put on a midwest uh pagan witch ball or nice yeah love it (laughs) <laughs> Something along that line. Yeah. We may definitely have to, let us we know. May have to have a road trip. <laughs> we love that. <laughs> it is a place to get there, but we, you know. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I've always, uh, I've always said that uh, if you plan something, go big, and that's basically yes. what I'm doing. Awesome! Yeah. Sounds amazing. <laughs> I love it. All right, so. Um, Seems how, let's see, we've not had any takers on the candle giveaway as of yet. So um, we'll give it a few more minutes and see what uh, transpires here. But in the meantime, um, so let's see, besides uh, besides the events you've got planned for next year, um, what uh, what's going to be on schedule for the holidays? Um, filling bears. orders. <laughs> yeah, filling orders. That's that's kind of going to be our holiday. Um, like I said, we were hoping to do that Winter Witches Ball this month, but there's just no time. We have, yeah, Bev also agrees with the road trip for that <laughs> festival. So you just, you yeah, never know. Really. Us, just might show up and crash the party. <laughs> just <kidding. laughs> No, but um, as far as December goes, yeah, it's really going to be mostly, um, it's always, even before we had Sister Moon, we both had a, our own small businesses. And this month is always a little crazy for us. And even from um, our Monday night sale, we had a ton of orders. In fact, we did. It was really kind of interesting um, because we had a tree that I was going to sell that I made, a Yule tree, that turned into an auction that raised almost $500 for a local family who just lost their home in a fire. And it was like I said, how everything just sort of takes on its own. We didn't plan that. It just happened. And then before you knew it, we had almost $500 raised and we were like, wow, (laughs) yeah. How did that just happen? You know? So, um, but with the, with those funds and then our sales, we had over $1,100 day. So it was a very busy, a very successful event or, you know, sale. And Lee has been literally <laughs> going crazy trying to get everything prepared because um, a lot of our product, we don't make a lot of in advance. It's sort mm-hmm. of like an order as you go situation because we don't want anything sitting or, you know what I'm saying? And and we also do a lot of customizing. So if somebody, say, wants it in a different color or it's all about um, changing things up if, if that needed be. So we don't make a lot of things up in advance. So when we get orders in like that, um, you know, over a hundred orders, she's going to be working for a minute doing that. And as soon as she'll get those done, we'll get a hundred more orders. So, yes, so I try to stay pretty busy during right the holidays with that. That's why like, we plan a mess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got stuff everywhere. Her whole house is like full of, well, 
it's it's hard because we are working out of our homes right now. So both yeah. of our homes are just full of sister moon things everywhere. <laughs> and yeah. our spouses just sort of like walk around them like, okay, you know, they put up with it. <laughs> but um sort of. <laughs> My husband's like, um, maybe when will we ever get our dining room table back? <laughs> yeah. You know, those kind of Probably things. Probably not not anytime soon. <laughs> Uh, oh, just don't, don't uh, build you a workspace. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, we're trying to buy a house, and both of us actually um, are in the process of looking to buy a house. And we keep saying, if we get enough land, you know, we'd like to build a workshop at either one of those destinations, and you yeah. know, that way we could just work on you know everything there, yeah. which would be yeah. perfect. So hopefully, yeah. that the universe will bring us that this year. Yes. Yeah. That's definitely one of our goals. And, and again, you know, eventually we would like our own store. Um, that is, you know, the main goal, but the biggest one right now would be just to have sort of a mutual workshop for us both. So we're, yeah. you know, meet up at one place and, and, you know, really, and not just that, but keep all of our stuff in one place. So we're yes. not <laughs> throwing things back and forth. And, you know, so that makes it kind of a pain because she's yeah. got to like bring half of her house to mine when we're working at my house and things like that. <laughs> yeah, I can see that happening. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it is a, um, it is nice to be able to have one space to uh, have to, utilized so that yes yes for sure <laughs> definitely work and uh, have it as a meeting uh, place as well mm -hmm. yeah. 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 well that uh, uh you're that thing with uh, setting up the girl for me for the display family had a fire uh because i used to work for the uh, red cross disaster services so nice. that that's exactly the same thing I would do is mm -hmm. uh, assess fire damage and assess the families. So, you know, maybe something that, um, we may have to start doing here at uh, Freeland Radio Network, and I would take a new offer that same service. That's yeah, nice. that'd be nice. Yeah. Because, like I said, it, it was a complete unexpected thing that just happened, but it was so heartwarming to see everybody, you know, matching donations and. And it was just going, it was, it just happened so quickly. <laughs> I was like, yeah. yeah, she was going to give it away because she does that all the time. She yeah. talks about yeah. me giving everything away, but she does it too. <laughs> and she's like, I'm just going to give it away, you know? And then somebody said, well, let's do an auction. And then it just like snowballed from there. It was, it was amazing. Yeah. 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 Uh, like um, something that come up like that again, we may have to collaborate and do something like that again. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, definitely. All right, Bev. Have a good night there, dear. Appreciate you joining. Bye, darling. See you soon. I uh, will see you again on Tuesday. Yes, on mm -hmm. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and if anybody's watching and wants to get in on that giveaway, don't hesitate to drop a number between 1 and 50. Just putting that out there. We're giving away a Yule, one of our handmade Yule candles. And it's awesome, and you'll love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, be sure to um, get in on that drawing there, folks, because uh, the merchandise that they make down there at Sister Moon is just fantastic. I will, uh, I will <laughs> be the first one to state that as well. I know there's many others who have uh, purchased their items as well as giveaways, and. Uh, People, I know people love uh, getting in on those uh, giveaways on Trevor Tuesday. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. For sure. Yeah. But, and, and like I said, you know, we like to do it. We like to give back and it helps promote us a little bit. Never get, you know, makes everything a little bit fun. And, and who mm -hmm. doesn't like, like to win stuff? I mean. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> cool. All right. Yep. Uh, let's see. We're going to give it a little bit. Uh, yeah, we're going to give it a little bit more time here. Um, so now let's now what's the, uh, so tell us more about like the, uh, the other merch that you make the, uh, the vinyl work and like gift bags and, uh, stuff like that. 
Uh, tell us more about uh, what you're doing with that. Well, we just at the beginning of COVID, we decided, I don't really even know how it kind of came about. It was something we talked about for a minute. And then we just both decided that we were going to get a vinyl cutter. Um, more or less, just, I think, for us to play around with some Sister Moon merch. Um, and then we fell in love with it. <laughs> and we got a little crazy. And and we were just whipping out things left and right, merchandise-wise. Mm -hmm. uh, we started with, like, koozies and things like that, smaller things. Um, vinyl decals for cars, like our own Sister Moon, you know, decals and stuff like that. Um, and then it sort of escalated and turned into shirts and hats and pretty much everything under the sun that you can think of. <laughs> we were whipping out designs for months. Coffee and, cups. <laughs> yeah. I have a little bit of a design problem. Because <laughs> I, I was also a graphic designer many years ago, so it comes very easily to me. And it was fun for me, you know, so it was just like design, 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 design. Um, and so that became very popular. And as far as our koozies go, we don't re we don't really sell them. That's more of a promotional thing for us. Mm -hmm. um, and so we, you know, with all the little different events or, we, you know, giveaways and whatnot. Because, mm -hmm. um, you know, with us being on an island and being in Florida, everybody uses koozies constantly to keep their drinks cold. Um, because the Florida sun will heat it up in about 12 seconds. So, <laughs> <laughs> so we just thought, you know, that'll be a great promotional thing, you know. So we started with that and then it just snowballed into a million different things. And then it, they became very popular, especially like our tanks with all different we've got oh, I don't even know, hundreds of designs, literally. Um so, you know, and we would customize things too. People would ask us to make things. I've done a couple things where I've recreated people's favorite shirts because they had worn out and, you know, it said some kind of pagan thing that they loved and they can't find it anymore. Um, mm -hmm. You know, we're pretty much open to anything. And then, like I said, we've, we ended up doing some windows and things like that just from some local shop owners that needed some vinyl work. They were like, yeah, we can do it, you know, whatever, no problem. Um, so that's what I do some boats. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, that's sort of how our vinyl thing opened up. It wasn't like intentionally planned. It just sort of happens. <laughs> well, now I know where uh, I need to go for when it comes time for, because uh, I've got new signage I've got to make up. I've got new banners to make. Um, and then uh, I'm We can do all of that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, Misty is the cricket genius. <laughs> yep, and I also need to get uh, tote bags made up. So, oh yeah. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be uh, there's gonna be a number of items that uh, now I know where I can go to. <laughs> awesome. Yep, we can do it for you, no problem. And we've done a lot of uh, promotional things for other business, some of our local friends and stuff. We've even. Um, done like with the same when COVID was really getting you know first started we did we were selling hundreds at a time of our little mini sanitizers that businesses were giving away as they were starting to open back up so that people felt more secure with you know they had their own personal little and it was more like a thank you for your business but also here you know um our sanitizer is another huge huge seller because it smells amazing first of all um it doesn't have that yucky you know chemical smell that most of them do and it doesn't dry your hands out and crack them like most of so that's that's a big thing especially if you're working in an industry where you have to use it nine thousand mm -hmm. times a day yeah it's wearing on your skin you know so that became a big seller for us and that was also very sort of unexpected and all of a sudden we were making hundreds and hundreds of sanitizers well again i shouldn't say we lee <laughs> One busting her butt doing all that. I just promote it. <laughs> she does a really good job. <laughs> yeah, because I had a lot to make. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. You definitely did. Nice. All right. Well, let's see. Um, well, see what seems how uh, we've not had any takers yet on that candle. Um, we'll just send it to you. Yeah, we'll just give it to you. Um... No problem. Then I can take it away on my end. There you go. We'll just send it to you, and you can keep it or give it away. Whatever you decide. Yeah. You might fall in love with it, though. Just a fair warning. Cool. 
All right, ladies. Well, I do appreciate you taking time out to come join me tonight. Uh, it has been fun. I knew it was going to be a fun interview. Uh, so I was like, anytime that uh, we have a chance to work together, um, I'm up for it. Awesome. Thanks for having well, us. We love you, Earl, and we appreciate you. Yes, we so do. Thank you for having us so much, as always. You're very welcome. Now, uh, let's see. I know that you guys are on Facebook. Have you got a website uh, set up yet? We do. Oh, yeah. Our website is sistermoon.shop. That's where our store is. And then our Facebook is at Sister Moon Store. So that's where you can find us. And then our group is just called Sister Moon. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, because you couldn't use Sister Moon Apothecary because somebody already snagged that one. Yeah, 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 we had we had a we had a heck of a time because it it wasn't um even a page that's really still running. It was from a few yeah. years ago, but they locked the name down and we couldn't steal it, so we had to go with um store, which wasn't exactly what we wanted, but it is what it is. So, cool. <laughs> All right. so you know now where to get a hold of the uh, ladies from Sister Moon on Facebook, also on uh, their website, and uh, just uh, drop them a line anytime. Uh, join them for Tarot Tuesday uh, every Tuesday. Uh, I try to chime in when I can because it's usually during my work day, but uh, <laughs> I try to uh, I try to chime in. in quite a bit. You do. <laughs> I could, yeah, I chime in between calls and uh, yeah, so I have fun with it too. So. Anyway, ladies, have a good night down there and uh, Thank you so much. try to keep warm down there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Earl. Happy holidays. Happy holidays, everyone. <laughs> Happy holidays. Have a good night. Thanks for joining us here at Prairie Land Radio Network and Iowa Pagan News. Uh, be sure to uh, email us at um, there's two emails that you can use now, either Iowa Pagan News at Gmail or else info at IAPNradio.net. Uh, you can uh, also message me directly through the groups or business page at Iowa Pagan Radio, uh, excuse me, IPN uh, Radio. Uh, yeah, I, excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, we understand. Um, IAPN Radio or else PLRDN business page here on Facebook. Have a good night. Pleasant journeys, everyone. We're out of here. Bye-bye. Yeah.